Hello, I'm Pranay Gupte. I'm a long-time journalist and an author of 14 books with a few more coming up, if I stay awake enough to write them. And I'm delighted to be at the Literature Festival. This is something that is most enjoyable, and the kinds of people that the organizers, Anil Larka and Sashi Badiga and their team have gotten is just so astounding that I hardly know what to say. So that's what I'm going to say. I hardly know what to say. Well, I decided a few years ago to change my nonfiction into specifically biographies. And it so happened that I knew Dr. Pratap Chand already, the founder of Apollo Hospitals. And I decided that I was only going to write about people that I admired and liked. I mean, a lot of people one can write about, but they're not necessarily likable or essentially have nothing to say. The thing with Dr. Reddy was that he came back from the US where he was practicing cardiology 33 years ago to India and just started almost single-handedly what is now a chain of 70 hospitals. So I thought that it was a story worth telling. What was it that drove that man? What did it take to get to where he is now? And what were the kinds of obstacles that he had to overcome? So I just thought that it was a very captivating story that general audiences would like. I've always written nonfiction because my background is in journalism. I, was, I began life not um, in my mother's cradle, but I began life at the New York Times and was there for 20 years. And I found that nonfiction was my forte. An old editor of mine encouraged me to write fiction. And he said that all you really have to do is to reach deep down within you and you'll come up with something. Well, I reached deep down within me and I came up with nothing. So that made me think that nonfiction would be the way to go. My initial books were focusing on women's rights, women's empowerment, children's rights, also sustainable economic development. And then I started writing biographies. Uh, Mrs. Indira Gandhi was one, Rajiv Gandhi was one. And I like biographies. They are they give you, a, give you the opportunity and occasion to really find out what somebody, what makes somebody tick, and what is it that we can learn from their lives. After all, these are giants of the game. They must have something to teach us if we are willing to learn. Well, my happiest time writing is when I'm in bed sleeping because intrinsically I'm a lazy fellow. I think most of the writers, if they were to be honest with you, will say that. But having been a newspaper man all my life and having filed on the deadline from different time zones, I'm used to writing at almost any time. So I don't really have set hours. You know, if I'm up in the middle of the night and I feel that I should be writing, I do. Or it's early in the morning. But if I really had my preference, I would do what Kumbhakarna did when he was asked by the gods for what favor he wanted. He said, I want to sleep. So I, I call myself a waking Kumbhakarna. Yes, I'm very much on Twitter. I'm very active on Twitter. I'm active on Facebook. I'm active on Google+. Plus. I believe that social media is a terrific way to communicate. I might add that I have about 270,000 followers on Twitter. And I say that not to brag, but what I'd like to do is, on Twitter particularly, I like to draw attention to articles that I've liked or the works of some of my friends, including some of the authors here. Ditto on Facebook. When somebody's come up with a book that I feel people should read, I always post it on Facebook. You know, I like to encourage young writers particularly, and even more especially young women writers, because I don't think even in this day and age, young women writers still get the fair break that they should get.